right. Well, hey, everybody. It's Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. I apologize if I sound a little <laughs> sniffly. I'm still getting slightly over this stupid, stupid, stupid cold. But it's not about that. What it's about today on Topper Tuesday is this guy right here. Once again, just copying Ruby Roo, play for play. This is the Sub-Zero 22 millimeter RDA. Oh, without ruining this whole video, this is well, well on its way to becoming one of, if not my favorite RDAs of the year. I just like pretty much everything about it. But to get to know it just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. Quick, short, upy, closey time. Right, yeehaw. What we have here is the Sub Zero RDA. This is the 22 millimeter version. First thing I want to show you guys is the deck. It is a nice two post, big post holes, bottom airflow. I've got some big old honking dual fuse Claptons in there, hex keys to tighten these down. Airflow comes in from the bottom. All of these represent airflow and they go in and right up at your coils. You can kind of tell just from looking at this how you would wick it. Wick goes in and down, in and down. There's an O-ring right here. Now this has to go into the body of the atomizer backwards. You can't plug this in here and pop your top off like this. The deck has to go in from the top down. And what you want to do is you see these little grooves right here? Groove there, groove there. You want to line those up with these little tabs right there. So that's how it's going to go in. So let's press this in. See it coming down there? Yeah, it's going to fit right into those grooves, right into those grooves right there. And the reason for that is for tightening it down and then adjusting the airflow. So I'm going to grab my little Hero Box DNA 200 and screw this down. And those little tabs right now are going to allow you to screw it down uh 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 nice and tight and then you back it off just like that and now all your airflow holes are open 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 and alternatively you can close them down just a little bit if you want personally i rock them all the way open because i love the airflow of this rda you can see down in the barrel plenty plenty of room for wicks in there and thankfully the sub-zero also does come with its own you know chuff style top cap that is actually really comfortable to use and looks very cool this is a crispy cap as well fits on there nice. The DHD caps fit on there as well because it's 22 millimeters around. So what we're going to do right now is wick this, juice this, get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this. Get a load of that 510 pin right there. Very nice, super protruding 510 pin. I have no problems rocking this on a hybrid mod. And remember, you can't pull the cap off like this. The deck has to go up through the middle. It has been wicked. It has been juiced and vapors. Normal view. Normal view. So yeah, that's the Sub-Zero RDA. And like I said before, I just love the damn thing. I love the airflow. All the way open, you just get great flavor and you get seriously good clouds, bro, clouds. The bottom airflow gives you nice flavor, nice clouds. I don't get any spit back. It's just, I can vape my wicks dry. I basically love everything about this atomizer with the exception of, there's one thing, there's one thing. I cannot use it on my noisy cricket. When I got this, I built it for a series box. I really wanted to use it on my noisy cricket. I crank it down on my noisy cricket and what happens is the rim of the noisy cricket keeps you from being able to reopen your airflow. All you can do is unscrew it. You screw this down on there nice and snug, it'll fire. Yep, I can f I can see it firing in there, but I can't open the freaking airflow. It just won't let me. There's something just incompatible with this damn noisy cricket and this RDA, they just do not function together, and that was a huge bummer, in my opinion, because I really, really wanted to use this on the noisy cricket. 
But what are you going to do? You throw it on a regulated mod, you open up that airflow, you crank up the wattage, and you're good to go. This is, yes, a new coil. This is 0.22 ohms. I have it at 109 watts. Uh, it's giving me 4.8-ish volts. And like I said, dude, the vape on it is just great. So we're going to need your vape budget hands for this. Uh, kind of. Beyond Vape is the one that sent this over to me. And the black Cerakote version of this, $75. Uh, that's about as high as I'm willing to pay for an atomizer. $75. Now, if we're playing the Aliens game, I think we know the answer to this. Where all the aliens, not all the aliens, just a few aliens, I guess. I never really thought about how many aliens it would be. But if aliens came down, took all of my vape gear, is the Sub-Zero RDA something I would seek out and buy? Absolutely yes. In fact, that's what I just did today. I was sitting here vaping it and vaping it and vaping it like crazy. And I'm like, you know what? I want to review this today. Clicked over to the Beyond Vape site, bought one in stainless steel. Now, the stainless steel version is only $65, but I wanted another. I wanted two. I want to rock two different builds, two different, you know, flavors in here. I just went and bought another one. So you know what? I put my money where my mouth is. If I find something I really like, yeah, I'm going to go buy it. And I bought another Sub-Zero. So there you go. That's what I got. 75 bucks. You might need your vape budget hands, but God damn it, friends. This is one of the, this is one of the best vapes I've had this year. It's constructed really well and I don't want to get rambling. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, yeah. Let's keep on vaping. That's enough.